This is Bloom Perfumery and today we'll be cutting some ambigree for a customer who ordered one gram of it. So ambigree comes in chunks like this. There's white ambigree, there's black ambigree. Why do people even buy it? There are ancient medicine practices which use ambigree. There are perfumers who use ambigree. It's mostly white ambigree. And then I think there are people who have certain historical um, interest in ambiguity because they read about Queen Elizabeth putting a piece of it in her coffee and they want to know what it smells like and what it maybe tastes like. But what is it? Where does it come from? Why are people fascinated with it? It comes from a rectum of a whale. The correct way of naming it would be pathological metabolite. Essentially, it's a lot of protein which helps whale to heal certain um, incisions in its gut. When whale swallows squid, sometimes beaks hurt uh, the folds in the uh, guts, and around that wound, a lump of ambergris would start to form to help whale heal that uh, wound. And occasionally, you have little bigs uh, stuck uh, in pieces of ambigree. This is how you know it's genuine. Uh, then, when the wound has healed, ambigree would detach and the whale will naturally pass it. It comes from the back end. It's not whale vomit. Uh, for a long, long time, people didn't know where it comes from. They assumed it's something uh, whale regurgitates. Last century, 20th century, some research has been conducted. It comes from the back end. And some of it really smells like it came from the back end. Most of it does. So, I described why people might need it. Perfumers mostly use white ambiguity, ambiguity that floated in the um, ocean for 10 years, 20 years, the longer the better. Then someone finds it. Either they fish it out of the seawater if they see it somewhere, or very often it's found on the beach. Could be Scotland, could be Madagascar, could be New Zealand, anywhere where currents might deposit uh, some ambiguity. So white ambiguity has spent enough time in uh, seawater to macerate an ultraviolet sun has treated it in such a way that it stops smelling fickle. It smells magical and perfumers use it for volume. It's more of a sensation when you s approach a perfume with natural ambigree in it. And black ambigree is a different story. It smells like barnyard, it smells like a horse stable. And perfumers still might use it if they have a leathery idea, if they have a story which requires this nuance. But white ambiguity, uh, when customers come in and, and say, show us a perfume with a real ambiguity in it, you bring it and it's impossible to pick that note up. It's like ultrasound. You can sense it, but ambiguity in its like most refined form it doesn't smell. It smells like beyond capacity of a nose. Black ambiguity is a different story. It smells like horses have been here. So, one gram, so this piece is about 27 gram. It's quite expensive because this thing is very rare. Um, I don't really know why customers purchase some degree. We ask no questions, but if they do, we just cut. You need a certain skill. So, supposedly, I need to use the mallet, but I use my shoulder. So, let's see how much is in this piece. Almost two grams, so I need to split it in half. Mm. Once you uh, overcome the original um, gag reflex, you sort of discover all the Interesting nuances in this material, tobacco, vanilla, amber, 
But first time you smell it, you have, you have only one question. Why? Let's see. 122. So, I need to cut a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Perfect. One gram. So now I will label it. And it's going to someone. Very like very few people on this planet get a chance to smell ambiguity either way. And even fewer people actually find it. So that's it. Ambigui located in Madagascar. It's black variety, which is heavy on the banyan nuances. So <sighs> that's it. Thank you for watching. So you can discover and purchase this material here at Bloom on its own or we can show you perfumes which contain natural ambiguity or accords, replicas, scents uh, put together by perfumers who wanted that nuance but uh, didn't want the trouble of working with natural material. It's all here, so hopefully see you soon.